Today we're going to do some stretching. Hey there, I'm Owen Vickers from Guitar Mastery Method. We've taught tens of thousands of guitarists just like you all around the world how to improve their guitar playing. Now before we get started today, I've got three licks which are going to involve stretching. In the description box down below, I'm going to put a link to another video which will show you the correct way to warm up and stretch because we don't want to be pulling any muscles playing these licks. The first lick that I've got for you today is going to really stretch your pinky. Let me play it for you and then I'll show you what I played. <laughs> All right, so it's just one pattern repeated across all six strings. We start off with our first finger on the sixth fret of the low E string. We then play second finger on the seventh fret of the low E string. We then play our pinky on the tenth fret of the low E string. And you want to keep your fingers in position, so you don't want to be jumping across to there because when you get back to the first note, it's going to be a lot of jumping around. So keep your fingers where they are. Assigned to the frets, we play that twice on each string. And jump across to the next string, A string, 6, 7, 10. Same on the D string, 6, 7, 10. Same on the G, 6, 7, 10. Same on the B, 6, 7, 10. Just a slight change on the high E string, we play the same 6, 7, 10. Then the second time through, we bend the last note up. So full step bend with our target note being the 12th fret. Let me play the whole thing for you slowly. Alright, for lick number two, I'm going to have to point my guitar towards the ceiling because this is a mega stretch. Let me play it for you and then I'll show you what I did. Alright, so that really got a stretch going. Hopefully you have longer fingers than mine and it might be a lot easier for you. What we played there was 19th fret on the high E string, our little finger to the 12th fret on the high E string with our first finger, 15th fret on the high E with our second finger. And that's basically the first pattern. So we play that four times, and then we get even more ridiculous. We go up to the 20th fret on the high E string with that little finger, 12th fret and 15th fret stay the same, first and second fingers. Play that four times. For lick number three, I've had to change guitars because this one's got a little bit lower action and I find it just a little bit easier to play this lick on this particular guitar. Still not all that easy. Let me play it for you and then I'll break it down. So here's the rundown of what I played there. Start off by hammering on at the fifth fret of the low E string with our first finger. And no picking hand involved here. Next we hammer on at the 7th fret of the A string with our 2nd finger. Then we hammer on at the ninth fret of the D string with our little finger. We then take the same shape but we start it at the 7th fret on the A string. First finger, hammer on. We hammer on our 2nd finger to the ninth fret of the D string. Hammer on our little finger to the 11th fret the G, the same, same shape, and then hammer on the 9th fret of the G string with our 1st finger, hammer on to the 10th fret of the B string with our 2nd finger, hammer on to the 12th fret of the E string, high E string with our little finger, and then we're going to slide that note all the way up to the 17th fret on the high E string. Let me play the whole thing for you slowly.
Right. I'm going to go ice my hands now. Just remember, do stretch, warm up, and watch that video that I'll link in the description to the correct stretching and warm up procedures so that no injuries. If you could just please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, you'll be notified of all of our new lessons coming up. Find out your number one guitar progress killer by taking a 30 second quiz on our website. In the description box down below, I'll put a link to the quiz which will find and fix the biggest roadblock to your guitar playing progress. See you in the next lesson.